part two to what if Deku was the Avatar, a couple seconds after stopping the last recording. I guess Deku is training to control his elements. He's not training in the real world, he's training with Aang in basically like his subconscious. But basically, he still has the muscle memory and the know-how to do it, but he's never actually practiced on how doing it in the real world. If you try doing it in the real in the real world, he would have to put in, uh, like he has to put in almost half as more effort as he does in the uh spirit world when he's dreaming. Well, it's not the spirit world; it's basically just his his mind, his subconscious. He hasn't told anyone about this. So Deku is... Let's skip to when he's nine. Deku is nine. This is a couple years before middle school. Or a year or two. Probably a year before middle school. However it works where Deku's from. And... Uh, Deku has already... He's basically mastered... Uh, uh, Earth. And he has moved on to... Fire. Fire is the next one, I believe. He's moved on to being able, able to shoot slight bursts of fire. And usually fire is uh, fueled by anger, but it's actually fueled by chi. And Deku sees fire as a way of destruction because he knows he can be a hero using fire, but it's mostly just destruction. And like I said before, he's able to see what other avatars have seen in their life. So Aang shows him the vision of him and Zuko seeing the two last dragons when they make the fire tornado around them. Deku sees that, and he sees it's a whole other way of viewing fire. He's still not very good at fire, but he's able to manipulate it. He's able to make it. And so on. So by the age of nine, he's mastered earthbending. Yes, I know mastered is very, he mastered it very quickly, but he wanted to learn how to master it because he wants to be a hero now that he knows he has powers. At this point, Deku, besides training with Aang in his mind, has already started training in the real world after school. He goes to a beach where no one can really see him because, well, there's, it's the beach with all the trash. He practices his ability to harden and soften sand, because he can bend sand because it's a type of earth. And Deku has, uh, not Deku, uh, Aang has mentioned to Deku about metal bending, but first he has, to ma he has to master the other four elements, or at least master the first three elements for him to start learning advanced methods to his, well, uh, to his bending. So, he's learned earth bending, and he starts learning sand bending, because it's not an advanced method of earth bending, it's just another form of it for the desert people. So, he starts doing that, he starts learning how to manipulate it, and Aang's also teaching him how to use it in a fighting type, like a fighting style. There's really no name. I forget the names of the fighting styles that the bendings are like what they're made after basically but basically he teaches teaches Deku different ways on how to use his, uh, his first two bendings he teaches Deku about neutral and negative jing or not positive negative and neutral jing for earth bending like the ability to wait and attack or to just attack basically all that like I said, he mastered Earth, and so he's mastered this. And he's practicing his fire. He's practicing to control it. Uh, to control how hot it is. And Deku, at this point, since he's nine, he's able to use... Like, he's able to shoot fire about probably two or three feet in front of him. And that's as much as he can do right now, because he just started learning it. We skip to one day in school, where Deku... Bakugo, Kurishima, Todoroki, and Yoroshi. Also, I should mention, the reason why Todoroki is not living with his family is because Endeavor, which is his mom, which I still don't know how this works, uh, would have 
uh, they they would have abandoned Todoroki because he's a guy and guys don't have quirks. He, Endeavor can't use uh, Todoroki to defeat All Might. So they throw Todoroki away, which his mom's upset. So instead of just abandoning him, she takes him to a city where he will most likely get adopted by a nice family. In this, it's Yuarshi, who would, where we'll say him and his family live in this city. Deku, which he already lives in the city. Bakugo, who also already lives in the city. And Todoroki, who was adopted by a family in this city. All in Kurishima, who will also say lives in the city now. We changed quite a bit there. So, the reason they're still bo uh, they're all four of those guys are still boys is because, well, I'm not going to spoil it, but it has something to do with their quirks in the main series. So, one day they're at school. Let's say in this class, I don't remember if there is, but let's say in one of the classes at the school, there is a girl who has a fire quirk who's able to shoot fire, or has pyrokinesis who can control fire. But it's very hard for her because she doesn't train. She thinks she's better than everyone because she has a fire quirk. Especially better than all the boys because they don't have quirks. In this, every guy in the original series is a girl, ex is a girl except for the first five. Deku, Kurishima, and uh, the other three. So... One day, they're just walking, like, they start leaving school, and a group of girls get in front of them, start mocking them for not being, uh, for not having quirks, and Deku, he's built up a bit of backbone, because he knows he has a quirk, and he shouldn't be scared of it, anyone else. Well, he, he knows he has power, it may not be a quirk, but it's something much more powerful. So, in this, Deku isn't, like, timid as much as he is. He's built up a bit of muscle. And the other guys have noticed that he's started building up a bit of muscle, but not a lot. Because he's still young. He's only building up some muscle. Like, I'd say... Let's say, since he's only 9 at this time, let's say he has as, as much muscle as he does in the original series. Which is still much more than what he's supposed to have as a kid at that age. So, he shows backbone and says that... He's not afraid of them, and he can probably take them all on in a fight. And the other four guys are surprised at this. They're surprised Deku is showing so much backbone. And the girl is a bit... She's like... She has Bakugo's attitude, basically. And Deku doesn't care if anyone knows that he has bending. Because at this point, he can control some fire. And he has already mastered Earth. So he doesn't care if anyone knows that he can if he has this he'll just say it's his quirk that he recently found out about when he uh, was having uh, a bad dream this is his backstory he had a bad dream and he accidentally shot fire out of his hands and this is and the reason he shot he knows about this is because his mom told him uh when he came when she came into his room to check on him because she uh she could hear him screaming because it was a nightmare, basically. She came in there and she just barely saw the fire dying down from his hands. And basically, that's his backstory. He's only going to show fire in this. He's not going to show Earth because he mastered Earth. He wants to learn more about his fire. So he's not going to show uh, his Earth powers right now, his Earth bending. And the girl, like I said, she has a Bakugo attitude. So she immediately... Uh, starts trying to shoot fire at the uh, boys. But since she isn't trained with her cork, or she's not very good with it, she's only able to shoot it a couple feet. Let's say the, the guys are about 10 feet. They're about 10 feet away. She's only able to shoot 5 feet. And the other guys backed up because they thought they were going to get hit, except Deku. Deku did not move because if the fire were to hit him, he could just uh, use his firebending to move it around him so he doesn't get hurt. Deku says if she calls that an attack, then how does she expect to be a hero if she can only shoot five feet away from her with her fire? This angers the girl more, and then she starts walking to Deku and the other guys. And the guys aren't doing anything because Deku seems to be confident for some reason. They're thinking. So he must have a plan. So Deku, uh, when they when she starts walking towards him, 
the girls behind her, let's say it's a group of five, the they start walking towards Deku and his little group of friends as well. And the girl is about three feet away from Deku. And she has fire, like small a small flame in her hands. And she says, uh, you better show respect. Because in this world, guys are deemed weaker than girls because they don't have quirks. She's like, you better show me some respect. Do quirkless wannabe heroes. And Deku said, and Deku's like, Deku says something around, around this, uh, around this. He says, even if we don't have quirks, we can probably still take you all in a fight. And this makes the girl angry, and she shoots, she immediately shoots fire at them. The other girls are a bit scared, because she just shot fire at the, that group, and they're in the, her range of, uh, of fire. Immediately, the other guys start trying to run back, but they notice the fire isn't hitting them. They see Deku slowly moving his hands around in a circling motion. And the fire starts, like, backing him up. Like, Deku is moving the fire backwards, like, back towards her. And then he does a slight push with his hands, and the fire shoots back at her. And this is when Deku, uh, and Deku starts, and Deku has a fire in his hand, saying, if that's all your fire can do, then you won't like my fire. The reason he's doing this is because he knows he can protect himself, and he's not going to let anyone bully him or his friends. Deku has a lot more backbone than this. He's been hanging around Bakugo, Kurishima, and Kurishima, he's still like, he still has that, that manly attitude and like everything being a man is on his good side. So, they all notice that Deku is, and Deku gets in a fighting stance. And his hand, his palm is open outwards to the group of girls, and his hand just catches on fire. And he shoots a small fire blast next to the side of the girl's uh, face, which immediately freaks them out because they didn't know he had a quirk. And they're, and they're thinking, how? A guy doesn't, a guy can't have quirks. And immediately, some of the girls start running off because Deku just shot a fire blast. And immediately, the other guys are surprised, thinking, what, Deku has a quirk, why didn't he tell us? And the girl can feel the heat of Deku's fire. Say that her, Deku's fire is three times strong, or three times hotter than that girl's fire. So she starts walking away slowly, and then as soon as Deku puts his hand up for another fire, she starts running away. And the other guys, wondering, uh, they start talking to Deku, saying, why didn't he tell us he had a quirk, and all that. And basically, he gives the backstory I said earlier, that he only recently found out he had a quirk, because uh, he found his mother found out he had a quirk during his sleep and told him. And he still isn't very good at controlling it. And this is making news around the school. It doesn't, like, get out far into the city, but it makes news around the school. Anyway, that's where I'm going to leave it off for now.